think that you posted it yourself. I don't think you leaked it yourself because you you it was a it took you a minute to post again. Like you you didn't go online. Yeah, I was live until like a week. I was like, hot. Like it was a minute. So, I was hot. Yeah. What's going on, drivers? Lockout Man back again with another one for you. So check it out. I was on the Breakfast Club, and I just caught wind of the interview with Setsy Red. Man, man, I mean, this, this young lady has risen from the ashes of the ghetto to be one of the prominent modern-day female rappers out here now listen me personally i'm i'm from the 80s i'm from the i'm from the era of lyricism i'm from the era of rakim krs1 run dmc female rappers like mc light queen latif moni love when i was coming up in, in the trenches of hip-hop and the faces of hip-hop was taking place i kind of got a feel for the new female rappers of back in the day Nicki minaj that's about it i, I think Nicki minaj is about it because the, all the other females after her either i don't know nothing about them or i haven't heard of them like these modern females today i i, I haven't even heard of them i to be honest with you i haven't the only modern female that i really really get down with and i think you guys should get down with her too is 3d not now that girl got some flow i mean everything that she touch she blows up on and not too many people is like you know spreading her her music you know like she got some nice tracks out here she got some bangers but no everybody want to listen to the ratchetness everybody want to listen to the Suki Hanas and the and the sexy reds and my booty holes brown and my coochie pink and all like that, man. That's what y'all listening to these days. But 3D Night T comes with some with, with some tracks that I really feel that you guys should go over there and listen to. For real, for real. 3D Night T, check her out. But on the Breakfast Club, Sexy Red got into a little tizzy with Jess Hilarious. You guys, you guys should really listen to that for real. I mean, Jess Hilarious has no filter. Like she comes at this young lady like full force. She's not like the other chick that used to be on the show. This chick is like all in your face and be like, yo, why you think this and why you think that? You guys really should go back and check out that interview between Sexy Red and The Breakfast Club. I think you guys will like it. But the clip that I am going to let you guys listen to is the part where she was explaining how that god awful sex tape got leaked. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. That you leaked your sex tape on purpose because of because of Pound Town. You wanted them what? to show. You wanted them to show. You wanted to show what color. It was. <laughs> no, that was the wackest video, bro. I was tired. I'm fat, pregnant. Didn't even feel like doing shit on there. So that's why I'm like. <laughs> and then that's the one that fucking get leaked. I got all kind of stuff. In How does stuff get leaked in 2023? I don't know, bro. Mm -hmm. I was your phone? No. No. It, it was in the, the moment, and then. Set the phone down, but I ain't the one that did it. It was in my mom set the phone down, threw it, and then, you know, and then it had actually pressed. She, she said she got all types of worse shit on her phone. You don't, just, don't, you don't delete shit. it now? No, no? After that? It's my phone. Don't y'all got shit in y'all phone? Real no. no. Exactly. Shit, I don't know why they lying. I did. That's what I'm Real saying. Thing, I got all kinds of man. When I say, like, I could mm -hmm. really go viral, I could be a star. But I don't for reasons mm -hmm. like that. Somebody break into your phone? And... No, nobody broke into my phone. I already know okay. what happened. But okay. I could really be a star if well, I happens, if so, I post the real stuff. I think you should tell people what happened so it don't happen to other people. I just did. <laughs> you said you just threw the phone and it. Okay, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. It was on Instagram, like a little short clip video, like just making it on Instagram and just saved it to the phone, then threw the phone, but the video still was on my screen, mm -hmm. and then threw the phone and it got extra impressive. Mm. Like sent to public. Yeah, like, like who's gonna do that on purpose? Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. 
like, what? And this was the wackiest video. Like, y'all really don't want me to post the real ones, man. Hmm. I turns up. I don't think that you posted it yourself. I don't think you leaked it yourself because you you it was a it took you a minute to post again. Like you you didn't go online. Yeah, I was live until like a week. I was like, hot, like it was a minute. So, I was hot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you guys believe that, I got a Brooklyn Bridge in New York for sale for you for five ninety nine ninety nine. If you guys believe that she wasn't the one that actually leaked that video, I got the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City for not for five ninety nine ninety nine. I got you. Yo, hit that cash app, dollar sign, lockout men, and I got the bridge for you right here. <laughs> Stop the cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap, man. Stop capping. Stop capping. Do you guys believe this young lady right here and what she said, how the sex tape was leaked? It was like... I just tossed the phone over to the side and it just magically uploaded to the internet. How can something magically uploads to the internet? How can you just toss your phone over to the side and it just and, and the upload button just happened to be pressed? It don't work that way. I mean, I I, I don't know. I mean, I I'm 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 call myself a little bit of computer and android and iphone savvy I, I i think i know enough to know that you literally have to push the upload button in order for the video to be uploaded i don't know how how else can you toss a phone over to the side and that upload button which is down at the at the small part of the phone is pushed to be uploaded stop the cap man do you guys believe that she just happened to toss the phone or do you guys believe like me that she did it on purpose i i think so i i think i think she did it on purpose and it's cool though it's cool look look at you now you still popular it didn't take away from your popularity it just pretty much added to it. You already walking around talking about you the most righteous woman in America right now. And that video just pretty much solidified it. That's all. Instead of somebody just quote unquote leaking the video, you do it yourself. And then you try to get in front of it by saying, oh, I don't know nothing about it. But yet I do know how it got up there. Of course you do because you was the one that put it up there you was the one that put it up there now listen i'm just speculating i'm just talking here man i i don't know i wasn't in the bedroom i wasn't clapping those cheeks right there but somebody with a with, with a home monitor on their leg was clapping it good or at least they thought it was you know a lot of a lot of play from that uh from that video and in the comment session a lot of people was like i just don't know but she over here talking about she could be a star and i got more videos on the phone and you just don't know i mean you know sometimes if you brag like that you know what i'm saying it, it just goes to show you that it might not be all that hot if you gotta brag about it i'm i'm just saying i'm just saying if you if you gotta brag about how good your coochie is or how good your your shit down there is, it, it might not be that hot. I don't know. I don't know. But guys, let me know. Do you guys honestly believe what this young lady said? Gave the excuse, gave the explanation about how that video got leaked to the internet. Well, let's get the conversation started. Guys, do you believe this young lady that the that it was just mysteriously uploaded and she just tossed the phone to the side? Or do you guys think that she done it just to get more clout, just to get more play, just to get more popularity? Because like I said, the sets tape really didn't, didn't hurt her popularity. Did it? I don't think so. 
I don't think so. She's still being booked for shows. She's still being popular. She's still making music. I, I just think the sex tape just added to, to the allure. Shot back. 